So I'm not gonna spoil today's episode with a long intro, but I do wanna tell you this. In today's episode of the Trading Coach Podcast, I'm gonna share a few in an interview with an aspiring trader who is caught at a crossroads in his life and, and kind of career. And the advice that we gave is to stop trading. Now again, I'll, I'll let you hear the full episode to kind of get a, a full lay of the land. But I know that a lot of you out there are in the same position. And I think the advice that we give in this podcast is going to be extremely helpful in helping you make a decision as well. I've just seen that we've got, uh, we're going to have um, Hussein on in a moment. He's offered to jump in. Um, I've just seen that we've got Duncan Gard Gardner in here. That is a name from the past. Duncan Gardner was one of our traders many years ago. He was focused on his business and getting some things out of the way. But it looks like you've come back, mate. Welcome. Always welcome. And uh, good to see you, man. Good to see you. Uh, Duncan's the guy who I never forget the story about when I always give the, exp the, the demonstration of... Um, resetting your analysis and, and not being um, tunnel visioned on leaving drawings on your charts because one time Duncan told us a story about he got into a trade because or he got into a trade that he shouldn't have been in because he drew a Gartley pattern on his on his charts before the sea leg had completed and because the pattern was drawn on the charts he came in the next day and price action was around the completion of the of the pattern but when he, he entered the trade and then he realized that the C leg never formed. So he was then in a trade that he wasn't in and it's because he didn't reset his analysis and delete the drawings and start again. And um, it, it was a valuable lesson. He closed the trade out straight away, but it was something I never, uh, I never forget. Good lesson, valuable lesson. So let's have Hussein on. Uh, Hussein, let's have you on. How you doing? Hey, how's it going, Jason? Good, yeah, it's not, not bad. This isn't your first session, is it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, yeah. I have quite a long story, just to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, do, I don't know if I wasted time, but uh, I need I really, really need an advice. Uh, because, like, uh, I have a lot of things, and they're, like, so messy. Um, so let me start with... <laughs> Let me talk about trading first. So I've been on tier one for four months now. Um, so I, I took like um, two, two or two and a half months to finish the courses. So I finished all of the courses. Uh, then uh, I developed a couple of strategies. Some of the strategies that I didn't really like because like there was some discretion. Then I realized that I don't like the discretion and I want I want the strategy uh, the strategy to be 100% uh, rules based. So I I had to start again, figure out a new strategy. Then um, I uh, I figured out the basics of the strategy. And, uh, but we, we did speak about this before, though, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, exactly. Because you, yeah. you were telling yeah. us about yeah. that. Yeah. During during that time, so um, so I studied in the university, uh, the university. So I had the chance to give uh, uh, to give the students and the professors in the university um, a lecture about like language acquisition and stuff like that. So uh, the university offered me to uh, to promote me as a teacher. So they told me that I, that I can give courses and stuff. Um, but they told me like I have I have to have uh, accounts on platforms like YouTube, uh, Instagram, and stuff like that. So it was quite a chance. Um, so I opened a uh, yeah, Telegram channel, uh, then uh, an Instagram account, then uh, a YouTube channel, um, and I put a lot of work in it. Um, and they promote me, and now I have almost 700 students. Uh, like most of them are ready to, to buy the courses and stuff like that. So I took that chance at that opportunity. It was like in front of me, but the problem, but the problem is like it took me one month, one and a half months, um, like to do all of that thing. I really uh, messed up my trading uh, because I was, I was, like, uh, um, I didn't really stop from like uh, learning and uh, um, uh, back this a pre back this into strategy and stuff like that, but. I did not really put the same work into um, into trading the same work that I used to put in uh, because I was busy with the um, uh, with with the new with the new business and stuff like that um, and also like I had I work in two jobs um, also um, like I'm I'm a student and there was exams and stuff so all of these things were excuses but. Like the thing is, like I'm now building two businesses, which is around languages, 
and my trading. So how do you think like I can really um, put time to them together? Because like with languages, I got the opportunity and I don't really want to miss the opportunity because there is a huge demand on, mm -hmm. uh, on languages, especially English. And also I'm an, uh, an Arabic teacher. I teach on italki. Um, so how do you think I can put time uh, for both of them? Is, is that possible? Um, yeah. Do you know? Do you know what my honest, my honest answer is? And this might yeah. be contrarian yeah. to some people. Is go all in on your business. Uh, what was that again? Go all in on your business. Like both of them? No, just go in and create your business income and focus on trading second. So get some income coming in get the businesses working correctly and you know profitably and then you'll have more time and more money to then focus on how to use trading to accelerate the income that you can get from your businesses uh yeah that's what i did like when i did that that one month and a half like i built like uh i got like uh, my uh, my studio and stuff like that like uh everything about uh, recordings um and then I build the accounts and then uh, uh, promote uh, the, the promo promotion um, uh, maps and stuff and the strategies. Um, and now, like, as I said, like I have uh, I have seven, um, 700 students, like not all of them will buy the courses, of course, like 20 percent, maybe 10 percent of the uh, of these people. But it's going to be profitable, at least like there is going to be an income. Um, and also, like this is going to be only for English. Then uh, there will be uh, another section for Arabic as well. Uh, but like for now, like uh, I built the structure around that business and now I uh, my name is already there and they already know me. So um, like it was an opportunity that I could not uh, I couldn't miss. Um, so do you think I wasted that time? <laughs> because like there is something in me that tells me like, hey, you wasted your time. You should have focused on your uh, on your trading uh, because like I was so close to um to get my to get my business trading online and you know uh trading live uh and i'm just like finding myself like these uh these talks That's fine. how old are you man i'm um i'm now i'm uh, uh 24 yeah 24 <laughs> right okay yeah. look uh, my, uh just calm down man like just yeah. relax like you've got so much time and and what i would say is this whether you're investing or trading or growing wealth in any kind of speculation vehicle, whatever it might be, the first thing you need is income and cash. Yeah. Like that, that doesn't just come from nowhere. So yeah. unless unless you're focused on learning to trade to then go and work at a prop firm who's going to lend you some money, um, which most retail traders aren't, that isn't their goal. So you need to focus on getting income from somewhere. Yeah. And for you, you've basically you got 700 students, you've basically done all the hard work on launching a business. I would really double down on getting that business working and profitable and selling more products and more sales. And then you'll have the time and the money to focus on using, you know, allocating your income into different investment vehicles, including learning how to trade and learning uh, the skill of trading. I don't think there's anyone who could argue with that with that answer, to be honest. That's what I truly believe, uh, not just because I believe it, but just based on what I've seen so many, you know, so the, the, sometimes you have to understand that it's important to take a step back to take 10 forward. And if you don't take a step back to take 10 forward, what you end up doing is you take much longer and it costs you more time and more money than it would do if you just took the step back. So like you might you might take with this approach that you're doing now, you might take five years to learn how to trade. Whereas if you just go and get your business sorted, it might take you a year to learn to trade and get it all sorted. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. And, and I think just stop like I think I said this to you in, in, a little bit before as well. Don't beat yourself up like just don't worry. Let's just like focus, get it working, be proud of it, be good at it, then move on to the next thing. You've got loads and loads of time and um, just in, like try and enjoy it. I, I put out a post yesterday about like when I wanted, when I was 20, I wanted to be a millionaire. Now I'm a millionaire, I want to be 20. And all along the stages, like when I'm 50, I'll just want to be 40 and I'll give up everything yeah. to go back and be 40 again, right? So just understand that you might not be where you want to be, but when you do have everything in the future, it might be 20 years from now, you would give all of that up to be where you're at right now. 
having this conversation yeah, with yeah. me. Well, but, but, uh, I'm, uh, but I'm enjoying the, I'm enjoying the journey. Just to be honest, like I'm enjoying every good. single minute of my life. Yeah, but here's so here's what I'm doing right now. Like I scheduled my day. I scheduled the days that I make the videos in. Uh, for uh, for example, like I'm I I, I only do videos on. Um, uh, on Friday, and I, you know, I just squeeze in some uh, some stuff that I need to do um, throughout the week. And throughout the week, I have, uh, as I said, like I work in two jobs. Um, I work on Italki, where I teach languages. Uh, I teach English and Arabic. So when I'm when these students, I'm I'm also promoting on Italki. Like I'm getting more students now. I'm building the structure around Arabic. Um, so the students are coming already. Um, Good. You know, also, also, I work on the oil field, so there are a lot of people uh, uh, within the company that I work with. So I just promote myself uh, to them, and they already now my students. Um, so throughout the week, like I'm just promoting myself, so uh, to to the Friday, so I can make the video and and post it. Um, uh, and also, like in my work, I don't really uh, do that much uh, because, like. Uh, it's a it's a desert and um, you know but we have a we have a place so I take my laptop and I do my uh, my pre back testing or I watch the, uh, the the recordings of the Q and A's and stuff like that. Um, the the thing is that I don't I do not want to stop uh, learning about trading. I do not want to stop trading because like this is something that I like. This it's something lonely and this is something that depends on me. And I really, really like that about trading because I, there is no yeah. one to uh, to blame if I did something. There is no one to blame if things go, went south. Uh, I'm responsible for everything. I don't have to talk with anyone. Um, so I really like about, uh, that thing about trading. So I really want to take trading as my uh, as as my thing, as my business. Even though with with the with these languages and these businesses that I'm building. When I build them, they will be passive. So the the courses are going to be there. There will be income. I don't have to change anything because I don't want to work all my uh, my life as a teacher. Like this sucks. Just to be honest, like it's boring. <laughs> no, but look, there's going to be. Uh... As long as you're consistently building assets, like mm -hmm. passive income or kind of leveraged income, only comes from assets. That's all. That's all it comes from. And. Um, the way that you develop those assets is, or the way that you ga gain those assets is you either buy them or you create them. So yeah. you can create an asset that is a something that runs without your time, or you can buy an asset which pays you a return. The other way is to learn a skill that allows you to create something that will also pay you that return. So with trading, for instance, or investing, you can then use your skill to pick investments or pick um you know trades and things like that but there's all there's also going to be a scalability of how passive that is because the whole time you're involved you know will dictate how much you're involved will dictate how passive that that thing is so you know as long as you're continuously developing assets and you're building assets or buying assets that is going to pay off in the long run but i feel like you know you I don't know. Perhaps you're just hard on yourself, and 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 maybe you maybe you struggle with, um, you know, respond uh, when other people have got responsibility in the mix. Perhaps you struggle with that. Perhaps you just like to have control over everything so that you. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. That's that's you know that's going to affect you in business potentially, not in trading. It's a strength in trading, weakness in business potentially. Because if you're going to yeah. grow a business and business assets, you need to. You need to understand how to develop people and trust yeah. people who are better than you to do certain things. Yeah, Otherwise, that, you haven't yeah. you haven't developed a passive asset. You're you're basically creating something that's really not passive, um, and and it's it might be mobile, but it's definitely not passive because it requires you. And the whole yeah. time you do that, you keep yourself enslaved in your own uh, in your own business, and and that's yeah. not what you want to do. Yeah, uh, and and yeah, I, I I'm I'm just thinking like. Uh, and now since I have the structure and stuff like that about, about the business uh, about the language business, um, now I'm thinking about like getting teachers uh, to do courses like native speakers. Uh, I have a lot of friends to do like uh, to make uh, uh, courses uh, with me, so I have less time spent uh, on uh, on the courses, so I can uh, focus on trading and also I'm building something, so I can pay them to do these uh, to do these courses, and I would sell them to the people that I um, I have as students. Um, 
so uh, yeah, in terms of training, so um, uh, I want to talk about training. Like um, now, like um, I'm I'm gonna go back to uh, pre pre back uh, back to some my strategy and build in the rules that I need um, around that strategy. Um, I want to see what works and when uh, doesn't work. Uh, because the last time I was, uh, as Orsi said, like I was building random rules and thinking about uh, thinking that the uh, the market will respect the, these rules. But in fact, like I have to see uh, what what the market does uh, when it, when it does that movement, so I can build rules uh, that works. Um, so that's what I, what I'm gonna be doing. Um, I'm not putting any timeline to it because like uh, the thing with timeline, I was like it, it disappointed me. It disappointed mm -hmm. me. Um, uh, when I when I reach the timeline and I see uh, nothing, um, so I'm not putting any time to it. I'm gonna work as hard as I can, um, and I'm I'm sure that I'm gonna make it work because um, I'm so close. That, but but there is a problem with, with with trading because like the problem is that I know more that more than I need. Like um, it's uh, I learned a lot of things uh, and it it, it uh, really. Um, it, like it distract me from the things that I want to focus on because now I'm only focused on uh, RSI and 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 price action and stuff candlesticks uh, candles patterns uh, but but I know a lot of things and that that pushed me um, like hey let me try this in a set let me try this let me change the strategy let me do this let me work with another strategy um, and it just makes it as a chaos for me. I need to focus on these uh, these things that I'm working with um, and see if they real work, then I'm going to uh, back test them. Uh, and if they don't, then I'm going to uh, talk to Akil and see um, and see what, what, what works. Excellent. Great. OK, good. Good idea. I think uh, I've, I've made some notes of, of kind of what we discussed here so I can put some notes up in the uh, in the platform under this video. Um, <clears throat> yeah, man. I just look forward to to seeing where you go from here. I think just just be realistic. Um, set. I, I think it's a good thing that you are um, not setting time goals, particular because disappointment. You said you was disappointed. That only comes from an unmet expectation, and so you only get disappointed when reality doesn't meet your expectations. Which yeah. means if your expectations aren't real or based on fact then you're going to be disappointed so um just keep working at it keep working at it i uh, i would say have a radically open mind as to what your weaknesses are and your weaker points are and take on board any any advice that people might share with you that might help your overall goal you know don't 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 be don't block off people's um Sometimes people have good opinions that can help you, and uh, yeah. and I can see you're so you're so driven, and I think sometimes you can get proximity bias toward you're too close to yourself, and sometimes someone could be offering some advice, but because the way that you are, you just won't you won't take it in, you just won't see it, and sometimes it can really pay off. So. Uh, yeah. that, I'm that's learning what that, I'd say. by the way. I'm learning that, like when. Uh, when yeah, I, I, I like, see it in you because I'm the same. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. Thank you so much, Jason. Uh, no really worries, man. Talk. It's great yeah, talking to you so again. Uh, I'll see you, you soon. <laughs> great talking. Hope you guys enjoyed the podcast. If you want to be a part of the accountability sessions, either sit in and listen to one or even do one of your own, you can do so as part of your trial membership over on the Tier 1 Trading platform. Just head over to www.tier1trading.com. Hit that button that says start my risk-free trial membership. Sign up, get on the platform for 14 days, download some software, network with the community, join our live rooms, join our accountability sessions, and take some courses as well. Again, that's www.tier1trading.com. If you do it, let me know you're going to be there. That way I can reach out and say what's up.